video was sent to me of a group of people using a Ouija board. Rage. Okay. Big. Can you do that one more time? Anybody in this room with me? This investigation for me started on April 11th of this year. A video was sent to me of a group of people using a Ouija board. In the video, there is no sound, it's just visual, and you can see in the top left corner, the video starts to distort and turn blue, and then by the end of the video, it just completely glitches out, stops, and that's the end of the video. After that video was taken, the group of people left the house because it just felt strange in there, animals started acting weird, and they ended up leaving and going for a walk. When they came back, they snapped the Ouija board in half and they didn't want to use it because the person they were trying to reach out to didn't seem like they were the ones that were coming through at all. The main person that we're gonna be focusing on in this instance is Haley. Her boyfriend actually reached out to me because we used to work together and he started telling me stories about their son having really bad night terrors and coming into their room and not wanting to go back into his room and they felt like there was something in his room with him or somebody in his room with him at night and he always pointed into it looking scared and sometimes he would even say hi and wave to something that just wasn't there. He went into more detail saying that toys were even being thrown and his son would talk in his sleep saying ouch and go away and on multiple occasions bathroom lights would flicker, they would hear footsteps around the apartment and this intrigued me enough to set up a date with Haley and Staden so that I could come investigate their house to see if what they were going through is actually happening and just give them some clarity that they're not going insane. Because when paranormal events start happening to this level, when light bulbs are being blown out, plugs aren't working, dishwashers are turning on and off, and you get that constant feeling of cold in your house, it's hard to decipher if what is going on is real paranormal activity or you're just getting inside your own head and you start looking at the coincidences around you of things possibly happening that just might not be paranormal. This is not one of those situations. I believe personally that what is happening to Haley and Staten and their family is the beginning of a haunting or possibly a spiritual attachment.
<clears throat> okay. My name is Johnny. Oh my god. My name is John. Oh, freaking out. My name is Johnny. And I was allowed to be here by the homeowners to conduct a bit of an experiment, I guess and see if there's anybody else living in their home. So if there's anything here with me, now is the time when you can show yourself. Come. Okay. The owners told me about a bit of a, a, bit, about a, bit of a story. She believes that she played with a Ouija board She believes she played with a Ouija board and she snapped it in half when she was done playing with it. Threat? No, I'm not a threat. Oh, it's ice cold in here. Whew, I'm getting chills. No reason it should do that. I've never seen it do that. Is it something in the wall, maybe? It's gotta be something in the wall, then, maybe. Measure. Yeah, it's a K2 measure. K2 meter, but it would measure. It's exactly what it's used for. Whoa. Just as I was saying that it's probably something inside the bathroom walls that was setting off the K2 meter so much. Something in the wall, maybe? I walked outside and put it on the kitchen table and it started going off again. And this kind of gave me an indication that it was something letting me know like, hey, I, I am here and it was me. Um, because it wasn't going off in the kitchen at all throughout the rest of the night, for the most part. That is you lighting it up, I think, right? Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, that's footsteps upstairs. Right when the train goes by. Can I come upstairs? Is there anybody up here with me? I heard a noise, it sounded like a kid, but I couldn't tell if it came from outside or if it was closer. Is there something in this room with me? Hands are shaking a little bit. Do you have anything you'd like to say to me? 
I'd like to talk and communicate with you as much as possible if you're okay with that. It sounds like something inside of this home is frightening their child. Feels weird in here. Shoes. No way. There's a pair right there I just saw. Fact? Fact? Yeah, okay. Shoes, yeah, there is a pair of shoes in here. God, it feels weird in here. I gotta get out of here for a second. Are you in this closet? There's a pair of shoes down there. I knew, I saw them right away when I walked in. That was a knock. That was a knock. The homeowner said that. Opposite. Opposite. That around the middle of the night is when things start to pick up. Are you gonna make me wait until then or would you be considering talking to me right now? Thank you for letting me know there was shoes there. Cats, bells jingling. Ooh. To pick up. Are you gonna make me wait until then or would you be considering talking to me right now? Thank you for letting me know there was shoes there. This cat's bells jingling. Ooh. Even creaking like it's coming from this door. Could you come light up this K2 meter? Can you light it up all the way to red? Can you light it up all the way to red? Thank you. Bottle? Yeah, baby bottles.
After I finished my initial walkthrough, I started setting up more cameras and I wanted to start doing some actual tests at this point. Um, but you might see a night vision camera set up on the stairs or in some situations you might see it set up facing up the stairs. Um, but the weird thing about what happened with that is at the end of the night when I packed up everything, I checked the night vision camera and there was no files on the camera at all. I 100% remember starting recording and stopping the recordings and several times throughout the night and when I checked there was nothing on it so I don't know if that's paranormal in nature but there has been times where files have got lost and it's so hard to tell if that's really paranormal or not but in this situation I would say that it might be. Okay, so I want to try and understand more about why you're here. I'm going to let you know the names of the people that are living here. And if you could try and repeat one back to me, that would be great. It's Grayson, Haley, Malachi, and Staden. Haley used a Ouija board a while back and she broke the Ouija board in half. I know that that's not something you're supposed to do and I'm really curious to know if because of that something has happened since. Can you give me some kind of indication that you're here? There's a knock upstairs. Are you what the little boy is afraid of? What's causing him to do that? Oh my God, that was a yell. Prayer. Prayer. Would you like me to say a prayer here? Or whatever's in this place. Told. Told. That's what I'm told that there's something around this room. The homeowner said that if I were to come laying here, sit on their bed. It would feel like I was being watched from this room. I'll sit here for a little bit. Could you help make me feel that way? I'll sit here for a little bit. Could you help make me feel that way? I'll sit here for a little bit. Could you... I'll sit here for a little bit. Could you... Help make me feel that way. Talk to me. The spirit box stopped.
The spirit, oh my, am I half crushed? It says come down. Okay, I'm down here. This is all out of luck. Was that you that touched my spirit box? I'm going to set up some, some of these motion balls. See if I can get something going with that. If this might be a little bit easier for you, if you want to try and touch one of these light up balls. Things, oh my God. Okay. Oh man, yeah. They said that it would start happening right around this time. It feels like there's somebody sitting right beside me. Are you sitting here? Rebecca? Okay. No, Rebecca, it's nice to meet you. My name is Johnny. The spirit box just stopped again right in front of me. Heaven. There's a lot of stuff that's related to Jesus and the afterlife, like heaven. Could it be possible that you're trying to tell me that somebody... Wait. Somebody that one of the family members knows maybe would be in heaven? <laughs> Haley also mentioned that her grandmother passed away and she felt, she felt something touching her leg and she said that it was a comfortable feeling. Is it possible that there is more than one spirit, or his, her grandma is here with her. <laughs> Train's going by again, just to keep aware, of, be mindful of that. Grandma. Grandma. Okay. Yes, Haley's grandma died. She passed away in, was it 2015? That's what I want to know more answers with, relating to that. When the ovulus said grandma, it blew my mind and there's a very good reason why it did. And it's the entire reason why I'm here to begin with. And that goes back to October 5th, 2015. On October 5th, 2015, Haley's grandmother passed away and she never got a chance to say goodbye. She says that she always tried to mess around and try and speak with her, but nothing ever happened. And on February 18th, 2016, she decided to pick up a Ouija board and communicate with her deceased grandmother using the Ouija board and that's where this video originated from. She goes on to mention that during the test, the planchette did move to yes, but she feels as though somebody in the group might have been messing with it. They did, however, end the session without saying goodbye. Right after the end of the session, the dog started barking at the laundry room when there was nothing in there, the cat started freaking out, and they heard a humongous bang that sounded like something fell onto the washing machine. This is what leads me to believe that whatever they were speaking with was not her grandmother, and I strongly do believe that if there was a spiritual attachment that is targeting this family, I think this is the origin of that spirit. After the ball lit up when I was sitting with the ovulus and running a spirit box test, the the room just got really, really heavy and I decided to go outside the back door um, on the patio and get some fresh air because it felt like something was just standing beside me or st staring at me. It, just, it felt like something was standing in front of me right there just staring at me and it was just, a, it felt like a weight on my shoulders. And when I was outside, 
I unfortunately didn't have any cameras going because I wasn't sure how long I was going to be out there. But I heard what sounded like whistling coming from inside the apartment. So I put my ear to the door and it was very clearly a man whistling. I waited outside for a minute and when I came back inside, that heaviness that I felt before leaving was a lot stronger and it was honestly almost unbearable. Um, and this is kind of what Staden said. As the night progresses, it was going to get a lot stronger and it was true what he was saying. And that's when I heard music coming from upstairs and that's kind of when the night started going a little bit more intense. Please, Subtract. Oh my God. Hello? Is there anybody in this room with me? If there's somebody up here, can you let me know? You can come touch me if you want to. Alone. Oh, okay, I'm alone. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe that for a second. Disease. What kind of disease? I feel like I'm being watched from that closet. Did. Did. You, did. So you did turn that on? There's no way that went on by itself. Why did you turn that on? Is that one of the areas that you feel very comfortable with being in? Or do you find that music soothing? Okay, so I'm gonna try and do an experiment here. I'm gonna go downstairs. If you want, you can turn that thing on again for me. I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna sit in the dark and I'm gonna go silent and if you want, you can do whatever you want. So I'll turn my lights off. Magic. You wanna perform some magic for me? I'll just have this little light on from the lizard tank. Whoa, that just went off again. Okay, just me and you, silence. lamp. Yeah, I know there's one lamp on. Is that okay if I leave the one lamp on? Let me read you a little bit of her story. See if this rings a bell for you. Okay, that was a light 
Just switch. Can you do that one more time? Let me read you a little bit of her story. See if this rings a bell for you. Okay. That was a light switch. Can you do that one more time? Freaking the f out. Oh my god, f cat. You're freaking me out. Video. Yeah, I know, I'm recording video. Can you do that one more time? Thank god. <laughs> called. Who called? Nobody's calling me. Oh my god. Johnny. No way. It just said my name. Okay, that's unsettling. Thank you for saying my name. Obviously, you were paying attention. We're paying attention when I said my name in the beginning of this investigation. Good Lord. I'm trying to. Oh, not right now. It's pretty dark. <laughs> if you want to, you can. Cannon. Cannon. Where's the Cannon camera? I don't have the Cannon set up yet. You, this is a game for you? Mad. You're mad? You don't have to be mad. Something touched my leg, if I like. Cat is just fixated on that thing. Yeah, on my skin. I'm wearing shorts. Lick. Lick, gross. Don't lick me. Okay, I'm gonna turn the lights back on. It's map. It's mapping something. It's tracking something right by the back door, sitting on the couch. Is that you that it's, that's sitting by the couch there? What's weird about this instance with the camera focusing on the couch when there was nothing there is that I caught the cat on multiple occasions sitting on the armrest on the other side of the couch and he was staring in that direction and I was wondering what he was staring at but when this happened it kind of confirmed that belief that you know children and animals can see spirits where we can't see them. So I kind of believe in this situation that the cat was picking up on something that I and my cameras could not see. I'm gonna try something. And I don't want you to get mad at me. It seems like you like this ball here. That was me. So I want to know if you can light it up for me on this light instead, or if they both go off at the same time. This here is a Ouija board and I'm not going to play it because I can't. But I just want you to see it and if you're 
part of what's attached to either Haley or somebody in the family, mainly Haley, then you wouldn't recognize what this is. I'll put it over the T. Could you move it for me? Behind. Behind me. I did have my back turned to the Ouija board. Is it possible for you to move this planchette? Rage. Okay. Rage as soon as that happened? That was that fire alarm. Are you mad that I took out the Ouija board? This is very odd. Oh, something touched my leg. Because he said that, oh my person. God. Person? That went from zero to... Reaper. Really creepy. And the K2 just goes off. Can you light up that light up lamp beside me? Okay, that is starting to freak me out. It's that smoke detector. Oh, give me chills. This K2 just went off again. It's going again. And the... What is that? K2 just went again. Everything went wrapped like up there really quick. There it goes again. Why is it doing that? Yeah, I'm a little afraid. Why did that thing just start going off? He said that all sorts of weird stuff happens with electronics around here. Like the plugins just stop working down here. The microwave doesn't, like the clock doesn't work. Standing up big. Whatever entity, oh my God. Wish. What? Wish. Whatever entity is in here, are you a big entity or are you a small entity? Are you a maybe an adult or a kid? Could you play with one of these toys for me? Kind of like how you did upstairs with the crib. There's no way that just went off now. Move this planchette for me if you can. First. 
You want me to move it first? Okay. When I put my arm close to the key, when I touch it, then it lights up. That's so weird. If I touch this planchette, can you use my energy then? Sense. That's so weird. That's weird. When I touch it, make a connection. Okay, I'm scared to let go of it now though. If what? Now it's going like crazy. I made a connection to the board now. Is that what's going on here? Oh my god. Is it. Tip. Is it okay if I let it go now? This is a lot. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye anyway, just in case. Whoa. There was resistance when I moved it. It's going red. Goodbye. And it stops. Delicious. John. My name again, John. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye anyway, just in case. Whoa, there was resistance when I moved it. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye anyway, just in case. Whoa, there was resistance when I moved it. It was right around three o'clock in the morning when I decided to take out the Ouija board. And keep in mind, I had no intentions of using the Ouija board. I know that you can play a Ouija board on your own, but I had no intentions of playing it because this is a house that has children living in it. And out of respect, I would never in a, any situation want to use a Ouija board when there's kids living in a house. I, I just think it's, it's a little bit too dangerous and it's too risky for an outcome that might not be worth it. But because the backstory is so heavily surrounded by a Ouija board being broken and I personally believe that it's possible that an attachment could have come from this incident. I wanted to take out the Ouija board just to see if there was a spirit around that would recognize a Ouija board from the incident that happened back in 2016. What my intentions were was to just put the planchette on the board and see if it could move on its own. And at some point I decided that I just wanted to touch it and that's when I noticed that every time I would put my arm near and touch the planchette, the K2 meter would actually light up. It's almost as if just me putting my hand there and making that connection, the my devices around me were just being set off because of that energy. And even the smoke detector at that point started going off for absolutely no reason. This plays into exactly what Staten was talking about when his electronics would go off and his dishwasher would just turn on randomly. It's definitely starting to seem like there is an attachment with some member of the family, but the spirit is staying at the home and wasn't traveling with them. I definitely caught some paranormal activity in this house and even though it might not be the craziest thing I've ever experienced, there's, some, there's something about this place and there's something about this activity that's going on there that just is so hard and, and so heavy. I don't know if it's the fact that there's kids involved or if it's because everything that Haley and Staden told me would happen, happened, even down to the time period throughout the night that it was supposed to happen. I don't know if it's that or if it's the fact that I personally felt in this investigation a lot heavier and overwhelming sense of somebody being there with me than most other investigations. In a lot of situations, activity happens and you can feel a heaviness, but it's not the same as what I felt here. I think what really gets me is in other investigations, when things start turning and they start getting more intense, it's a consistent intensity and it comes more in waves of, you know, activity happening and it slows down, but it's always the same feel. In this house, what I was feeling was so many different emotions. There was points where it did feel like there was something dark there. And then there was moments where it felt like I was communicating with possibly a family member or somebody at least that knew pieces of the stories of Haley and Satan's life. 
But then when I heard the man whistling while I was outside, and when I came back inside, there was that heavy feeling, that's when it started to feel dark, and it went in waves of good and bad on this one, not just waves of being scared and then it toning down. So I think that, mixed with the fact, that, again, that there's children involved in this one, that's what weighs on my heart so heavy, is that when there's these waves of darkness and these children are being affected by that, it's a very hard feeling knowing that you're inside their house, seeing their toys, seeing their clothes, seeing where they sleep, and you have to try and figure out what's going on when there's really not a whole lot to go off of. But I personally believe that there is a possibility that her grandmother is still lingering around in this location, but then there's something there that is not her grandmother, and I think that's what they possibly released when they snapped the Ouija board in half and let in something dark. And the question that I have is, because they snapped the Ouija board, what do they do now? And those are questions that I don't have answers for, but I feel like if I have the opportunity to come back again, I would bring a medium, and at some point we could try and figure out what this dark entity is inside of Staten and Haley's home. Hey guys, I just wanted to give another quick shout out to our sponsors, just especially that we're coming up on 100k subscribers and just feeling so grateful of how far we came in such a short period of time. And to the people who believed in us from, you know, a long time ago, Don's photo for hooking us up with a camera. Um, that's been an amazing sponsorship. It's helped out so much in so many different situations, especially, you know, shots like this that we can now take with a camera slide. and. I just encourage anybody that wants to do anything related to filming or photography to check them out online. They're so good, they're such nice people and I would love to see this business grow and grow and grow into, you know, something that's just not stores located around us, stores all over, you know, North America. A second shout out is to Spirit Tech just for all the amount of gear that they sent. Um, they just sent us another two night vision cameras so we're going to have so many more opportunities to catch spirits just you know in dark places in different locations of the house or building that we're at. Um, it's just such a blessing to have them as well. Um, without them there's probably a lot of things we would miss and not be able to capture and show you guys.